This is a guided meditation. A meditation that will guide you to still the mind. A mind which you cannot find. Still the mind will make you blind. Today you will still the mind. Sit in a comfortable position. Make yourself relaxed. Close your eyes. Let your hands and feet be relaxed. Prepare yourself to be disconnected from the world for the next one hour. You will spend 60 minutes in this guided meditation and you will reach a state of mindfulness, a state of consciousness, a state of awareness. Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. Translated, it means I am Shiva. But how can I be Shiva? Shiva is a God. I am a human being. How can I imagine myself to be Shiva? To get to the truth, I have to ask myself the question, Who am I? This is the most important question 
to self discovery and as long as we are in a state of mind we cannot realize the truth of shivoham we think we are this body we are this body aren't we without this body you could not be doing this meditation but are you the body be still if during the course the mind wanders gently come back to the meditation don't let your mind hijack your consciousness give complete attention to the meditation contemplate on your birth when were you born the birth date on your birth certificate is not your birth date that was the date you arrived on the planet your mother will tell you that days before you were born as in arrived you were kicking inside her stomach you were very much alive before your so called birth date so when exactly were you born you were conceived 9 months before your arrival date 9 months prior when two cells of your parents fertilized you were conceived in your mother's womb once conceived you cannot change your mother the two cells fertilize to become one on your real birth date your date of fertilization your date of conception then that cell the first cell called zygote multiplies 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 till ultimately you become a little baby of about 25 billion cells these 25 billion cells create that little baby that arrives to this earth on a date which is called your date of birth you were conceived much before the body the body was formed over 9 months can anybody deny this this body of 25 billion cells then grows from a tiny baby into an adult 35 trillion cells this body grows ages ultimately decays and dies every body has to die there is no way to escape death of the body but are we the body that dies the body dies but people will say 
you passed away therefore we are not the body that dies if we were the body would our near and dear ones cremate us bury us if we were sleeping in bed would anybody dare cremate us no we were alive when we are alive nobody can burn us bury us but when we leave the body in that moment called death when there is no breath we depart who is the one that departs is it the mind the mind fools us into believing we are the mind and ego me throughout life we say i me and mine but in reality who is this me is it the one in the mirror that we see are we this body that dies we have already discovered the body is formed over 9 months and one day we will leave the body therefore we are not the body if we think we are the mind contemplate what is the color of the mind what is its size its shape you have seen the heart the brain in pictures x-rays you know how each organ looks but have you ever seen the mind what color is the mind is it round like a ball nobody has seen the mind because the mind does not exist what is the mind the mind is nothing but a bundle of toxic thoughts the mind is nothing but the software of the human existence the body is the hardware the mind is the software the mind along with the ego becomes me the mind also has the intellect the memory and the ego together this is called the inner instrument the inner instrument is a subtle part of our existence the gross body is the physical body the hardware but just like a computer cannot work with just hardware or software it also needs a power supply the third aspect of the human computer is the power the power of life in the moment of death this power of life stops and then there is no breath we are pronounced dead what happens in that moment what happens to that 
power what is that power we may call that power life energy atma soul or spirit but there is energy that spark of unique life that soul that gives us breath from birth to death in the moment of death the body returns to its five elements earth water air fire and space in most cases 99% of all death when the body dies the subtle body the mind and ego me carries karma and returns to earth in a rebirth the moment we are gone we are reborn why does this happen when we are alive we create karma karma means action we create both good and bad karma based on our karma we are born even this human birth when we are alive we came to the planet because there was unsettled karma then we create new karma and ultimately when the body dies death happens suddenly our karma is not settled therefore we have to return to earth in a rebirth but in rare cases when there is realization self realization of who am i then in that moment of death there is no reincarnation because there is realization what is this realization the realization is i am not the body the body is made of bone and skin the body has so many organs within but each of these 35 trillion cells is nothing but the five elements nothing but energy i am not this body i am not even the mind when i try to find the mind where is the mind i cannot find when we realize i am not the body that will die not the mind i cannot find then the ego that stands tall like a wall has a fall the ego realizes i am not i but of course i am i exist i am alive who am i when we realize we are not the body or mind then we realize we are the divine soul we are the spark of unique life when we realize this then in the moment of death of the body there is no rebirth 
because the one who was alive is free from all karma normally when we die we have unsettled karma good and bad this gets added to the carry forward karma our corpus our warehouse of karma of several lives every life there is unsettled karma that we carry forward as our karmic debt then we are reborn and this goes on and on but when we realize we are not the body the body is just the actor we are not even the mind and ego me the mind and ego me is the director when we realize we are the divine soul we are part of the creator in that moment of self discovery that moment of self realization all our karma of all lifetimes is instantly dissolved we become free from all karma because we realize we are not that doer of karma we are the soul and the soul has no karma therefore when we contemplate who am i and we realize we are not the body that will die we are not the mind we cannot find we are not the ego that says i we are the divine soul that spark of unique life this self realization liberates us from reincarnation this is one aspect of life to realize i am not i but if i am not i then who am i unless we answer this question the mind that we cannot find will reappear as toxic thoughts and steal our consciousness as long as we are in a state of mind the mind is nothing but a bundle of toxic thoughts we are bombarded with up to 50 toxic thoughts every minute this can be a whopping 50000 thoughts a day the subtle mind will drill us and kill us and destroy our realization the mind does not want us to realize the truth the moment we realize we are not the body or mind the mind will cease to exist the mind will be out of business it is the mind that creates the false ego that makes us say i me and mine the ego can be enlightened but first we have to still the mind we have heard of ak47 a dangerous weapon but have you heard of mk50 mk50 is the mind killer 50 it can shoot at us up to 50 toxic bullets 
50 toxic thoughts every minute. Unless we are able to still this mind with toxic thoughts, we will not reach that state of consciousness, that state of awareness. We must reach this state of mindfulness and in this state of meditation there can be contemplation of who am I. I am not the body. I am not the mind. I am the soul. What is the soul? The soul is a spark of unique life. What is this spark? It is energy. It is power. Where does this soul come from? This energy is omnipresent, present everywhere. If we take two balloons, blue and white, and we blow them with air, now we have two blown balloons, blue and white. If we burst the balloons, where does the air go? The air merges with the air that is everywhere. Even if we give somebody millions to give us back the air separately, they can't because the air has already merged. So does the soul. In the moment of death, the soul merges with Sip, the supreme immortal power we call God. The body returns to dust. What happens to the mind and ego? There is no mind and ego. It is caused by ignorance. The moment we realize that we are not the mind and ego, me, it does not exist. In that moment, we are liberated. We are united with the Divine. Unfortunately, very few of us reach this state of Self-Realization. Only 1% of humanity go on a quest. 1% of the world is visually blind. 99% are spiritually blind. They do not realize we are not the mind and ego, me. We are divine energy. The truth is that we are all divine souls. We are all sparks of unique life. The truth is we are all manifestations of Sip, the supreme immortal power we call God. Unfortunately, we don't ask the question, why did I come to earth? Why did I get this precious human birth? Neither do we ask the question, nor do we realize that we are born because of karma, our unsettled actions. When we realize we are human beings and we realize we are not the body that will die, when we realize we are the Divine Soul, then in the moment of death, the soul is liberated and it is united with the Divine and there is no rebirth. 
दिस इज मोक्ष निर्वाणा सैल्वेशन दिस इज डिवाइन यूनिफिकेशन वेरी वेरी फ्यू पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड आर ब्लेस्ड मोस्ट ऑफ अस वी आर बॉर्न वी लिव वी क्रिएट कर्म वी डाय वी रिटर्न टू अर्थ इन अ रीबर्थ वी डोंट अटेन द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ मोक्ष ऑफ निर्वाणा of self realization self realization leads to god realization when we realize we are not the body or mind we are the divine soul in that moment we become one with sip the supreme immortal power just like a wave splashes but ultimately returns to be part of the ocean we are part of sip but we don't realize we slip and we trip in this samsara this world of material pleasures very few amongst us realize i am not i some of us use the magic words neti neti tatvam asi neti neti not this not this you are not this body you are not the mind tatvam asi thou art that you are that what is that you are energy you are power when scientists tried to find through an experiment what is the tiniest particle of matter scientists went beyond molecules and atoms electrons and protons the tiniest particle called quark scientists were observing a quark under a sophisticated microscope suddenly that tiny particle the quark disappeared scientists then contemplated on the law of thermodynamics energy cannot be created or destroyed it can only be transformed from one form to another and so scientists coined that this was just a particle of matter becoming a wave of energy but they were flabbergasted when that particle of matter reappeared they called the phenomena wave particle duality three physicists were given the nobel prize in 2022 for their work in this branch of science called quantum physics and quantum mechanics even science has endorsed that every particle of matter is nothing but energy spirituality has been saying this for thousands of years that we are not this we are that now science agrees that over 90% of this universe is made up of substances unknown to scientists they call it dark matter or dark energy spiritual saints call it supreme immortal power sip we are all a manifestation of sip we are not the body that dies we are not the mind we cannot find we are 
the soul the soul is sip what is the meaning if we say i am the soul the soul is sip it means i am sip and sip is in all this truth has been spoken in the scriptures since thousands of years the scriptures tell us the kingdom of god is within god lives in the temple of your heart but unfortunately we don't realize the truth saints who lived centuries ago told us shivoham shivoham you are shiva but we did not understand the meaning we did not ask the question koham 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 who am i who am i who am i we did not get the answer so hum so hum so hum thou art that you are not this the body or mind you are that the divine energy the power we call sip unfortunately this is the ultimate truth of life this is god realization and god realization comes with self realization realizing who am i why am i here the saint ramana maharishi said nan yar nan yar means who am i Adi Shankara said Chidanand Rupa Shivoham Shivoham The Bible says Luke 17 the kingdom of God is within Corinthians 4:16 God lives in the temple of your heart But still we are enveloped in ignorance we do not realize who we are we do not realize we are not the body or mind we are the divine soul the soul is sip we are a spark of unique life and this spark is part of the supreme immortal power we do not realize this and so we live and we die we cry we look up at the sky we ask why we believe the lie that god lives in the sky we don't realize god is nameless and formless birthless and deathless beginningless and endless god is a supreme immortal power when we begin our journey our quest of realization when we ask who am i we reach that state of self realization i am the soul i am not i the me i thought to be the one in a picture i could see i am divine energy when we reach this state of self realization then we realize every human being is a spark of unique life every living creature is nothing other than the soul the spark of unique life so we see the supreme the divine 
in every soul we realize that god is not god god is sip supreme immortal power and we the soul are part of sip we appear to be different like waves but they are all part of one ocean we do not realize that we are manifestations of god therefore to realize the truth is our goal to realize we are the divine soul but as long as we live as the body the mind and ego me suffering will be we will suffer the triple suffering pain of the body misery of the mind agony of the ego as long as we live as the body mind ego we will suffer this triple suffering on earth and then we will return in a rebirth what is the purpose of life the purpose of life is to realize who am i and why am i here i am here because of my karma i am here because of my ignorance i am here because i have not realized the truth we remain a fool because what we are taught in school we believe in the lies that god lives in the skies we don't pause to discover the truth therefore we continue to suffer pain of the body misery of the mind agony of the ego the mind that makes us blind creates fear worry stress anxiety regret shame and guilt but once we realize we are not the mind we are free from all this misery then the ego it creates the monsters of anger hate revenge jealousy pride greed and selfishness as long as we live as the ego we suffer these monsters the mind and ego me creates karma and then we return to earth again and again with unsettled karma the moment we realize i am the soul the soul has no karma the karma of the mind and ego drops and dissolves because the mind and ego cease to exist the mind and ego is a false identity just like somebody may say i am robert it's a lie my name is robert we say i am male no the body is male or female i say this is my permanent address no the address is not permanent because the body will ultimately die everything on our id card is fake but still we cut our birthday cake when will we awake when will we realize we have a body but we are not the body when will we realize that the mind makes us blind in reality there is no mind you can find still it appears to be and pushes the truth far behind 
what is the truth i am an immortal soul what is the truth i am not the body that dies what is the truth i am not the mind i cannot find the truth is we are manifestations of the supreme the truth is that we are divine beings unfortunately though we are human beings we have become human doings all the time we are doing and doing and doing there is no time for being being the god that we pray to very few amongst us realize that we are divine manifestations very few amongst us can still the mind and be in meditation where there is purification and illumination and then realization of the truth how many of us reach that state of realization and then liberation and unification with the divine we live and we die but we don't discover the truth who am i the purpose of life is to find the purpose of life the purpose is to discover our true identity the purpose is for the ego to be awakened to be enlightened our purpose is to be liberated from the cycle of death and rebirth our purpose is to be free from all misery on earth our purpose is to be united with the supreme immortal power sip the world calls god if we just live and we die and we don't find out who am i we will be reborn and this will go on and on so what is the problem everybody who is born suffers pain yes there will be pleasure and pain loss and gain sun and rain but we will suffer again and again the purpose of our existence is to be free from the cycle of rebirth this is the ultimate goal known as moksha the buddhist call it nirvana but this is only possible if we are enlightened awakened to the ultimate truth this world is nothing but a leela a divine drama a show everything in this world is maya a cosmic illusion more a manifestation of the divine as long as we don't realize this truth we will be gone and we will be born and this will go on and on we have to be enlightened we need realization and then liberation otherwise this drama called life will continue to unfold and we will struggle and cry till we die what is this meditation all about this meditation is contemplation on life on death on karma it starts with contemplation on birth how was i born why was i born it takes us through the law of karma the law of action and reaction a law that states 
as you sow, so shall you reap. The law will give you what you deserve. What you do will come back to you. And so we live and we die and we create karma. This meditation is contemplation on the truth that we are not this body. We must not only understand what the body is, we must realize. And to realize, we have to open our real eyes. When our eyes are closed in meditation, then there is contemplation then there can be realization. Who am I? If I am not the body that will die and I find the mind, where is the mind I cannot find? Then the meditation leads to contemplation that leads to self-realization. Meditation is that state where there is no mind. Thoughts will still enter our consciousness. But when we still the mind and kill the mind, in that state of consciousness, the intellect is activated. It will lock the mind and block the mind. A mind we cannot find, but a mind that appears to be along with the mind and ego, it says me. But meditation makes us remain still. It makes us move from a state of mind to a state of consciousness. In that state of consciousness, we realize we are the Divine Soul. Then we achieve the goal. We are free from all karma, good and bad. And we become a Jeevan Mukta, somebody who is liberated while alive. This is the goal of meditation, to live in Samadhi, a state called Chaturya, to realize I am not the waker, I am not the dreamer, I am not the sleeper, I am the witness, the watcher, the observer. When we realize this truth, then our meditation is successful. Therefore, the challenge of meditation is to be still, to still the mind and to find who am I? Ultimately, every meditation has only one goal, to slow down the MTR, the mental thought rate. Without meditation, the mind, which is a bundle of toxic thoughts, will wander. The mind will take us to a past that is gone and a future not yet born. We are unable to go to yesterday or tomorrow. But the only thief who can go is the mind. A mind we cannot find. But in meditation, we will transcend the mind. In meditation, we will realize I am not I. In meditation, we will realize I am a manifestation of God. In meditation, there will be contemplation. In meditation, there will be realization. In meditation, there will be liberation. In meditation, there will be unification with the Divine. This is the purpose of our existence. And as long as we don't meditate, we don't slow down the MTR, the mental thought rate, from 
up to 50 thoughts a minute to 10 thoughts, one thought. When we are able to lock the mind and focus on one thought, then we have succeeded in our meditation. Life is about living in consciousness. It is about moving away from the mind state, a state that creates fear, worry, stress, anxiety, regret, shame and guilt. We must move away from the ego that says I and be free from the monsters, anger, hate, revenge, jealousy, pride, greed and selfishness. All this is possible with meditation. All this is possible with realization. I am not I. Who am I? Not this, not this. I am that. Neti neti tattvam asi. I am Atma Brahma. Aham Brahmasmi. Prajnanam Brahma. These words from the ancient scriptures can liberate us from all suffering on earth and from the cycle of constant rebirth. But for this, we must be successful in meditation, to still the mind, to kill the mind. Keep your eyes closed. Continue to be relaxed. Take your two palms and rub them against each other vigorously so as to create lot of energy, heat in your palms. Rub them vigorously and then put your palms on your eyes which are closed. Let the heat warm your eyes. Gently with your palms closed on the eyes, gently open your eyelids and then experience bliss of the meditation as you look at the world.